just hoping to see from this team from the start here this weekend? Well, for us, it's really the beginning of a new project, you know, and last year was a culmination of a few years of work, I think, with some excellent seniors and, uh, uh, you know, this year's team, the class balance is it's really strange. We only have uh, seniors and freshmen, so uh, it's a new project. We had, uh, obviously, we've had some good practices here for about two weeks, but uh, it's hard to really know exactly where we stand until we actually play somebody else. I think we've looked good in practice, but it's uh, for new players in particular, there's usually a little bit of a uh, gap between the performance in practice and in the real matches. And so I think we'll find out this uh, this Saturday really how uh, how good this team is. I think we're talented, mm -hmm. and we just need to play here and uh, and, and you know uh, grow in experience. That balance you talk about, you know, the three three seniors, three freshmen. Have you ever had a team unique like that? No, oh, we've yes. never had a class balance like this. No, it's, uh, yeah, no, and you know, it's. <laughs> first, it's more first off yeah, the Yeah, exactly, right? right, yeah. And, you know, unfortunately we had two players uh, that we counted on being on the roster, uh, you know, decided not to come. And, and that hurt us obviously a little bit, but at the same time, uh, you know, we're gonna give uh, some fresh faces uh, a lot of playing time, so I'm excited to see how we're going to do. What do you see the strength, you know, from their individuals in those three freshmen? I mean, are they can they be kind of? They're going to have to be, I guess, impact players in some yeah, way, yeah, right? That's away. right, no <laughs> question. You know what? They're they're, they're very talented. Um, they're ball strikers, and so uh, you know, once we changed the scoring a few years ago, I think our recruiting we we've uh, uh, changed a little bit in in how we. Um, uh, in the types of players we uh, we look to bring in, we we during the Embry Will era, you know, we sort of relied on the fast, physical, uh, consistent players. And the past few years with a new scoring format, we've gone for more shot makers. And I think all three of these uh, freshmen fill it, fit that mold. Also, they're shot makers. They're they they are great athletes, but they prefer to sort of dictate play. And so. With that, that being said, you know, being young and being a shot maker is not usually not as good as, as being old veteran and shot maker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Sure. So, but uh, uh, great people, uh, uh, practices have been very spirited, and uh, we've seen some really good play here in, in, in practice. Coach, I know polls don't mean a whole lot. The SEC team poll will get released in a couple hours here. Um, what do the SEC coaches know? Georgia's picked one, Florida's two, Vandy's three, but then you flip that order in the ITA national rankings with Vandy two, Florida yeah. three, well, Georgia four. I mean, the, the SEC, the league is brutal. This could be the, the uh, most balanced uh, that I've seen it in my 17 years, really. You know, look, last year we didn't win the league and we won the national championship, and I think this year could be the same. It could be... Uh, any of maybe four or five teams could win the league maybe and certainly any of, any of four or five of them can do really well uh, nationally so uh, preseason for us or, or the you know that the season before the SEC starts is tough we have great teams Stanford Oklahoma State you know the list goes on uh, so we'll be ready uh, from an experience standpoint I think by the time we, we start lacing it up against the SEC competition uh, but um, you know the key is we, we're gonna have to remain healthy and Continue to work on our doubles. You know that was a strength last year. It certainly made a difference in, in the postseason. And, uh, I feel like with three freshmen in there, you know we're going to have to make some some drastic improvements because they uh, they just don't have the same experience. They they, they they don't read the play in doubles like a like a senior, and we need to speed up that learning curve. And what about playing at the USDA national campus again? You'll get two experiences there. What was that experience before like? And are you excited about? You know, being able to do that again. Yeah, it was fun last year, and you know, for our players to play with uh, TV cameras right there, that's obviously uh, a cool feeling and adds a little extra to it. This year, I think it's going to be live on Tennis Channel. The first one we play against Florida State, and we play at the same time as our men, so there'll be thousands of people in the stands. So um, the seniors will be ready for that, and freshmen uh, will be their first go at it. And uh, I'm sure there'll be some jitters, but you know, that's. Why you come to Florida, though, it's, it's, it's a cool part. Do you uh, sense a lot of just tinkering with the lineups until you, you 
kind of hit on some things, or do you have a good idea going in? Doubles? Or yeah. in general? Yeah, doubles. Yeah. Well, yeah, doubles, I think we have a pretty good idea uh, of what we're going to do. We're going to we're gonna go senior, freshman, senior, freshman, senior, freshman. Okay. And that was Coach Baylog's preference to start. And it actually worked well in, in practice. And, uh, you know, it, it would be my preference. I, I'd like to do that too, but I also like to win. So sometimes <laughs> you got to, you know, be, <laughs> you got to see if, nice. if it really works, yeah, right? And yeah. so, uh, but it's looked good in practice. So we're going to, we're going to shoot for that here this weekend. And uh, we've got some experienced uh, seniors, you know, so hopefully that they can be a calming factor when, when it really, uh, you know, the heat sort of turns on at, at latter, latter stages of sets. Yeah, I mean, you're going to have to obviously rely on them. Mm -hmm. The fact that they were able to help out winning the title last year, I mean, how much, I guess, a little dose of confidence does that give you sure. in terms of, you know, having such a odd roster? Yeah, I mean, that that's a key for us because the, the you know, even though our freshmen are good, they're just not the same right away when you start, yeah. you know, and so uh, the seniors have been around there. And, and I think also um, they, they feel good about, you know, sort of, being a part of this new project we're starting you know they're really setting the tone they've changed a few things we do in practice um, you know from a team standpoint and bonding if you will you know and they're creating their own sort of legacy here and uh, I think they're really cherishing that and, and uh, uh, I think that could maybe help us you know continue to get better for every month you know I, I think this team has a uh, an opportunity to really improve mm -hmm. from the, the first match we play this Saturday to when we play uh, in May. I think this team can really uh, have a really uh, a good uh, rate of improvement. I'm sure since we play a lot of youth uh, that we're going to have some, some uh, dips in performance too along the way, but overall as long as the curve goes from low left to top right, we're, we're going to be good. Yeah. Yeah, um, so my first question, Coach, is um, do you think that there's an added amount of pressure for this team to follow up on the success of last year? I don't think so, and I, I, I think that all depends on how you frame each year, you know, mm -hmm. and I think that we've done a decent job of, over the course of our tenure here to um, show our players there's very little correlation between one year and the next, mm -hmm. you know, each year is its own being, if you will, and but that's being said, it is, you know, how we label it a new project that we're starting, right? And so we're trying to build for the future and our seniors are going to play a, 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 a big part in, in showing how the, you know, how we do it here and, and, and teaching the first years. But um, I don't think our freshmen really feel any added uh, pressure walking in. Um, and I certainly don't think our seniors feel any pressure either. You know, for them, it's almost house money now, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, but... Um, you know, we play a, a remarkably tough schedule, so um, I'm sure there'll be some ups and downs along the way, but we'll be ready. All right. Um, you guys have Cal State Fullerton coming up for the ITA kickoff this Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, what skills do they bring that you think might challenge the team? You know what? Uh, we know very little about them. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously they're from the other side of the country, and we uh, have not uh, competed against any of their players. So uh, we'll see them in practice for the first time tomorrow afternoon. We'll probably, while we practice, we'll probably peek a little bit to see what they bring. So um, I think it's important for us to focus on the Gators and make sure that we're ready, um, particularly in doubles, you know, to start. Uh, and, and then on match day, we'll, uh, when the ball's in the air, we'll make any kind of adjustment that we have to. All right, thank you. Yeah. Any other questions? Okay. All right. Thanks, Coach. Sure.